This is the first of the fifteen psalms. Psalm 31, Part 1. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. This is the second of the fifteen psalms, Psalm 31, Part 2. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with sorrow, and also my throat and my belly. For my life is wasted with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength fails me because of affliction and my bones are consumed. I am the scorn of all my enemies, a disgrace to my neighbors, a dismay to my acquaintances. When they see me in the street, they avoid me. Like the dead, I am forgotten, out of mind. I am as useless as a broken pot, for I have heard the whispering of the crowd. Fear is all around. They have put their heads together against me. They plot to take my life. But as for me, I have trusted in you, O Lord. I have said, You are my God. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your steadfast love. This is the third of the 15 Psalms, Psalm 69, part one. Save me, O God, for the waters have risen up to my neck. I am sinking in deep mire and there is no foothold. I have come into deep waters and the torrent washes over me. I have grown weary with my crying, my throat is parched. My eyes are worn out from looking for my God. Those who hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. My lying foes who would destroy me are mighty. Must I then give back what I never stole? O oh God, you know my foolishness, and my faults are not hidden from you. Let not those who hope in you be put to shame through me, Lord, God of hosts. Let not those who seek you be disgraced because of me, O God of Israel. Surely for your sake I have suffered reproach, and shame has covered my face.
This is the fourth of the 15 Psalms. Psalm 69, part two. I have become a stranger to my own kindred, an alien to my mother's children. Zeal for your house has eaten me up. The scorn of those who scorn you has fallen upon me. I humbled myself with fasting, but that was turned to my reproach. I put on sackcloth also, and became a byword among them. Those who sit at the gate murmur against me, and the drunkards make songs about me. But as for me, this is my prayer to you at the time you have set, O Lord. In your great mercy, O God, answer me with your unfailing help. Save me from the mire. Do not let me sink. Let me be rescued from those who hate me and out of the deep waters. Let not the torrents of waters wash over me, neither let the deep swallow me up. Do not let the pit shut its mouth upon me. Answer me, O Lord, for your love is kind, and your compassion turn to me. Hide not your face from your servant. Be swift and answer me, for I am in distress. Draw near to me and redeem me. Because of my enemies, deliver me. You know my reproach, my shame, and my dishonor. My adversaries are all in your sight. Reproach has broken my heart, and I am sick beyond healing. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. For comforters, but I could find no one. They gave me gall to eat, and when I was thirsty, they gave me vinegar to drink. This is the fifth of the 15 Psalms, Psalm 69, part three. As for me, I am afflicted and in pain. Your help, O God, will lift me up on high. I will praise your name, O God, in song. I will pro proclaim your greatness with thanksgiving. This will please the Lord more than an offering of oxen, more than young bulls with horns and hoofs. The afflicted shall see and be glad. You who seek God, your heart shall live. For the Lord listens to the needy and does not despise the prisoners. But the heavens and the earth praise God, the seas and all that moves in them. For God will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah. They shall live there and have it as their possession. The children of God's servants will inherit it. And those who love God's name will dwell therein. This is the sixth of the 15 Psalms, Psalm 70. Be pleased, O God, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let those who seek my life be put to shame and confounded. Let those who take pleasure in my misfortune draw back and be disgraced. Let those who say to me, aha, and gloat over me, turn back because of their shame. Let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let those who love your salvation say forever, great is the Lord. But as for me, I am poor and needy. Come to me quickly, O God. You are my helper and my deliverer. O God, do not tarry.
This is the seventh of the fifteen psalms, Psalm 71. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. You are my crag and my stronghold. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the clutches of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence since I was young. I have been sustained by you ever since I was born. From my mother's womb you have been my strength. My praise shall be always of you. I have become a portent to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Do not cast me off in my old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails, for my enemies are talking against me, and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together. They say, Pursue and seize that one whom God has forsaken, because there is none who will save. O God, be not far from me. Come quickly to help me, O my God. May my accusers be put to shame and waste away. Let those who seek my misfortune be engulfed by scorn and reproach. But I shall always wait in patience and shall praise you more and more. This is the eighth of the fifteen psalms, Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers close in against me to devour my flesh, they, my foes and my enemies, will stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war rise up against me, my trust will not be shaken. One thing I ask of the Lord, one thing I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek God in the temple. For in the day of trouble, God will give me shelter, hide me in the hidden places of the sanctuary, and raise me high upon a rock. Even now my head is lifted up above my enemies, who surround me. Therefore I will offer sacrifice in the sanctuary, sacrifices of rejoicing. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice. O Lord, when I call, have mercy on me and answer me. My heart speaks your message. Seek my face. Your face, O Lord, I will seek. Here begins the lamentation of the prophet Jeremiah. Aleph. How lonely she is now, the once crowded city. Widowed is she who is mistress over nations. The princess among the provinces has been made a toiling slave. 
escaped. Bitterly she weeps at night, tears upon her cheeks, with not one to console her of all her dear ones. Her friends have all betrayed her and become her enemies. Gemal. Judah has fled into exile from oppression and cruel slavery. Yet where she lives among the nations, she finds no place to rest. All her persecutors come upon her where she is narrowly confined. Dalet. The roads to Zion mourn for lack of pilgrims going to her feasts. All her gateways are deserted, her priests groan, and her virgin sigh. She is in bitter grief. Hey. Her foes are uppermost, her enemies are at ease. The Lord has punished her for her many sins. Her little ones have gone away, captive before the foe. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return to the Lord your God. Yod. The foe stretched out his hand to all her treasures. She has seen those nations enter in her sanctuary, whom you forbade to come into your assembly. Kaf. All her people groan, searching for bread. They give their treasures for food to retain the breath of life. Look, O oh Lord, and see how worthless I have become. Lamed. Come, all you who pass by the way, look and see whether there is any suffering like my suffering, which has been dealt me when the Lord afflicted me in the day of his blazing wrath. Maim. From on high he sent fire down into my very frame. He spread a net for my feet and overthrew me. He left me desolate in pain all the day. No. He has kept watch over my sins. By his hand they have been plated. They have settled about my neck. He has brought my strength to its knees. The Lord has delivered me into their grip. I am unable to rise. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return to the Lord your God. Aleph. I am a man who knows affliction from the rod of his anger. Aleph. One whom he has led and forced to walk in darkness, not in the light. Aleph. Against me alone he brings back his hand, again and again all the day. Bait. He has worn away my flesh and my skin. He has broken my bones. Bed. He has beset me round about with poverty and weariness. Bed. He has left me to dwell in the dark like those long dead. He has hemmed me in with no escape and weighed me down with chains. Gimol. Even when I cry out for help, he stops my prayer. Gimol. He has blocked my ways with fitted stones and turned my paths aside. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, 
return to the Lord your God. This is the tenth of the fifteen Psalms, Psalm 40, Part 1. I waited patiently upon the Lord, who stooped to me and heard my cry. The Lord lifted me out of the desolate pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a high cliff, making my footing sure. The Lord put a new song into my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many shall see and stand in awe, and they shall trust the Lord. Happy are they who trust the Lord. They do not turn to enemies or to those who follow lies. Great are the wonders you have done, O Lord my God. In your plans for us, none can be compared with you. Oh, that I could make them known and tell them, but they are more than I can count. Sacrifice and offering you do not desire. You have opened my ears. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. This is the eleventh of the fifteen Psalms, Psalm 40, Part 2. And so I said, Here I am, I come. In the scroll of the book it is written of me, I love to do your will, O my God. Your law is deep within me. I proclaimed righteousness in the great assembly. I have not restrained my lips, O Lord, you know. I have not hidden your righteousness in my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your deliverance. I have not concealed your steadfast love and truth from the great assembly. You are the Lord. Do not withhold your compassion from me. May your steadfast love and your truth continually keep me safe. This is the twelfth of the fifteen psalms. Psalm 40, part 3. For troubles without number have crowded upon me. My sins have overtaken me, and I cannot see. They are more than the hairs of my head, and my heart fails me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and altogether dismayed who seek after my life to destroy it. Let them draw back and be disgraced who delight in my misfortune. Let those who say, Aha, aha, be appalled at their own shame. Let all who seek you rejoice in you and be glad. Let those who love your salvation continually say, Great is the Lord. Though I am poor and afflicted, the Lord has plans for me. This is the 13th of the 15 Psalms, Psalm 88, Part 1. O Lord, my God, my Savior, by day and night I cry to you. Let my prayer enter into your presence. 
Incline your ear to my lamentation, for I am full of trouble. My life is at the brink of the grave. I am counted among those who go down to the pit. I have become like one who has no strength, lost among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave, whom you remember no more, for they are cut off from your hand. You have laid me in the depths of the pit, in dark places, and in the abyss. Your anger weighs upon me heavily, and all your great waves overwhelm me. You have put my friends far from me. You have made me to be abhorred by them. I am in prison and cannot get free. My sight has failed me because of trouble. Lord, I have called upon you daily. I have stretched out my hands to you. This is the 14th of the 15 Psalms, Psalm 88, Part 2. Do you work wonders for the dead? Will those who have died stand up and give you thanks? Will your loving kindness be declared in the grave, your faithfulness in the land of destruction? Will your wonders be known in the dark or your righteousness in the country where all is forgotten? But as for me, O Lord... I cry to you for help. In the morning, my prayer comes before you. Lord, why have you rejected me? Why have you hidden your face from me? Ever since my youth, I have been wretched and at the point of death. I have borne your terrors and am helpless. Your blazing anger has swept over me. Your terrors have destroyed me. They surround me all day long like a flood. They encompass me on every side. My friend and my neighbor you have put away from me, and darkness is my only companion. This is Psalm 51, the 15th of 15 Psalms. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. In your great compassion blot out my offenses. Wash me through and through from my wickedness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my offenses and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified when you speak and write in your judgment. Indeed, I was born steeped in wickedness, a sinner from my mother's womb. Indeed, you delight in truth deep within me, and would have me know wisdom deep within. Remove my sin with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be purer than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness, that the body you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my wickedness. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Let me teach your ways to offenders, and sinners shall be restored to you. Rescue me from bloodshed, O God, my salvation, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. For you take no delight in sacrifice, or I would give it. You are not pleased with burnt offering. The sacrifice of God is a troubled spirit, a troubled and broken heart, O God, 
you will not despise.